140, sorry, Jose. 100. Thank you. One hundred. One seven seven. Lovely repost. Is that a max? How many is that? One hundred. One three three. Needs one three two for Nathan. First to a finish. Sixty. Ah, one oh seven. One five. What was that? Uh, he's left thirty six. You're on twenty five, Nate. Game two. Takes it out. It's a 14 dart start. Very good stuff. A 177 in there, nearly taking the ball out for a 132 finish. But a 14 darter for Nathan Aspinall, and he breaks the throw to go into the lead. Now, Jose has come from behind in both games so far tonight and won them both. Has he just lured the Asp into his trap, or is Nathan going to blast off into the distance? Leg two, Nathan has the darts. Game on. One forty. One forty is that Joe's time? Yes. Thank you. One forty. Back to under forties for Nathan. One hundred. Nathan. Seventy nine. Enough to leave a finish. Five. Ah. Uh, say on a bogey number. One forty. And that'll leave him twenty six. Gave him one down. Nathan Aspinall is producing the best stuff we've seen from him 
I know it's early days and only two legs into this, but the best stuff we've seen from him on the home tour so far, because Jose de Sousa has been left on 36 and 26, hasn't got a poke at them, because Nathan going out in 14 darts and then 13 darts, taking out 25 and 32 with very little bother. Leg three, Jose de Sousa has the darts. Game on. Eighty-two. Ah, fifty-eight. One forty. Fifty seven. One forty. Well, both men close to leaving the finish, but not quite. Oh, no. Fifty nine. One, three, four. Big moment, this. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight? Yes. Thank you. Well done, Dan. You're, on, you're both on 52. Yeah. Game three. Oh, and again, Nathan Aspinall, when he's getting a chance, he's taking it. The scoring wasn't as good in that leg, but it wasn't from Jose either. And it means that Nathan Aspinall pounces on the opportunity it's only an 18 data but it's a break of throw and three nil to the aspen a race to six he has the dog and throwing to make it four nil nathan aspinall has become a heavy heavy favorite to go and reach the semi-finals of the low six home tour playoffs leg four nathan's darts game on oh dear 64 Oh. One forty. Sixty. One eighty. Mm. Jose has clicked into gear. Ninety seven. Sorry, Joe, so you have to tell me what that is because I missed you there. Is it 132. Thank you very much. Uh, Nathan. 
30. Uh, 49. <laughs> okay, and there we go, Jose de Salsa with a 14 data, gets his first leg on the board and breaks the Aspinall throw. Nathan not getting his scoring going at all in that leg. Is this game changing or is that just a one-leg aberration? Jose de Sousa is still averaging 96 here, despite the fact those darts at level in that leg were the first ones he'd had in the match. 3-1 to Nathan Aspinall, leg five, Jose to throw first. Game on. <laughs> One four. One hundred. One hundred. Fifty-five. One, three, four. Oh, it's pressure if there's a mistake. Game in three. He has not made many mistakes at all during the whole home tour, Jose de Salsa. He was 3-0 down, but now finds himself just one leg behind. Crucially, though, Nathan Aspinall breaking uh, in the opening leg and in leg three means that he still holds the advantage here. If Aspinall can keep on holding throw, he will earn his spot in the semis. Leg six is Nathan to throw first. Game on. Fifty-seven. One forty. One forty. Ninety-eight. Ah, one, two, five. Come on. 
24. Fifty-nine. Ah, shall I left an item? Fifty-nine. Yes. Nathan, forty. Forty-three. Gave him three. Oh, double, double no, finish for three. Nathan. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he needs to make sure he didn't catch the flight and bust his score by slipping into the treble 20. But he holds his throw. He's two legs up and two legs away from the semi finals. This feels like it's getting a little bit edgy between these two. Uh, both men averaging around the 90 mark. Uh, Jose de Salso has an average below 95 in any game on the home tour, and most of them have been up at or above 100. It is leg seven right now. Jose has the darts. Game on. One eighty. Perfect start. One eighty. Perfect response. One hundred. Fifty nine, sixty, ninety two. Both men on big finishes. Fifty nine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh dear me, twenty eight. Usually loves a one seventy Nathan Aspinall, not this time. Game, game in three. Charts. 102 check out for Jose de Salsa. The gap is cut once more with that 15 dart leg and ton plus check out. Nathan Aspinall cannot quite put this one to bed and get away from the Portuguese man of scores. Leg eight. It is Nathan to throw first. If he carries on holding throw, he's all right. But can he do that? Game on. That makes it easier. Ninety three. Ninety three.
100. Twenty. Uh, good recovery after that bounce out. One forty. One forty to leave a bogey number again. Ethan, uh, fifty six. One hundred. Ah, thirty-six. Two darts missed, and the South is breathing down the world number seven's neck. Game. And he's taken the chance. It's a 14 data for the Portuguese. And he has managed to drag himself back level after trailing 3-0 with two breaks of throw in this final game of the night. A straight shootout for a spot in the semi-finals. It is now a maximum of three legs remaining in this match. Jose de Sousa has the throw in two of them. And it is Nathan Aspinall who is coming under pressure now. Ninth leg, Jose's darts. Game on. One hundred. One forty. Ah, uh, Nathan, fifty eight. Thirty-three. Thirty four. Whoa, mistake. Not down to a finish. Fifty eight. Thirty. One hundred. Leave the two dot checkout. Get in, game two. And he only needs two darts. Nathan Aspinall 
it's back straight away just when Jose de Sousa had probably become favourite to make the semi-finals. The ass breaks the throw. Neither man scoring particularly well, but when it came to the crunch, a 76 checkout cleared in two darts by the ass means that he has the darts in his hand at the start of leg 10, knowing one hold of throw is all that stands between him and a spot in the semi-finals. If he is broken here, we go to a last leg decider and Jose de Sousa has the darts. Nathan, leg 10, game on. One hundred. One hundred. Sixty. One hundred. Three straight tons for Nathan. Eighty one. Lined up just above the treble. One forty. Ah! Oh my word! Oh, an incredible effort. Whew, 80. To go just to a decider. Forty. Oh, he's gone tops, tops, and he's only got one of them. <laughs> Ninety averages there. That was tense stuff. Uh, let's go over to Nathan first. Look, I know there are some people who say, "Oh, it's just darts players playing at home. It's just a bit of fun." We've had even players on here say, "Oh, it's just a bit of fun." And that. Tell me, you weren't feeling nervous and you weren't desperate to win that game, Nathan? I was very nervous. Um, again, another game that okay, I played well in in patches, but I didn't play like I can. It's very hard at home, but. Well, then the, the last three legs, I was, I was shaking like I don't know what. It's, uh, it's weird because you know we play these guys week in week out, and we always want to beat each other. I said it before, Jose for me is probably one of the best players to come on onto the tour in the last two or three years, and uh, he didn't play well then. I brought everyone down to my level tonight, I think, but uh, <laughs> I've got through. I'm very happy, and uh, hopefully can improve uh, going into the semi final. Well, look, we'll come back to you in a moment, Nathan. Let's go over to Jose. Um, Jose, you have given us, you've shown us some of the best performances on the home tour since it started. And you weren't very far away after being 3-0 down from turning that game around there. It was just a little bit too much in the end. Yes, well, last penalty, it's... You always... Uh, stay, uh, uh... And um, in the best moments, he, he take his, his, his up. So it's, uh, it's really for me. I, I know that, 
this game before I play against him. Uh, I know it's really difficult to win this game, but I try all the best. It's true, I don't have best game, but he, he, he don't play his, his best game too. So. But I, I'm very happy. I'm very happy because... Thank you very much, Joe. So we are having some sound problems. We're going to have to leave it there. But thank you so much because you, you're the first phase of the home tour. You were absolutely incredible. 105 average for the night. And there, it was only two legs that stopped you from going through to the semi-finals. Let's show you the table, the final standings, uh, because Nathan Aspinall does complete the clean. Uh, we... Three wins out of three, uh, with Jose de Celso having to take second place. Um, let's go back to Nathan just for a moment. Uh, Nathan, look. We've got the semi-finals coming up. We've got one group tomorrow night uh, to determine the semi-final lineup. Your semi-final group will see you, Joe Cullen, Rob Cross, and then either one of the four guys playing tomorrow night, Scott Waits, Carl Wilkinson, Max Hopp, or Johnny Clayton. How do you see tomorrow night's going, and how do you think that semi-final group's going to play out? Um, it's a weird one tomorrow, um, but... I'm gonna back. I'm gonna back my my mate Johnny. To be fair, I think Johnny will get through it, and I think the final four in that group will be real, real really tough. Um, you know, I played pretty pants to be fair through it. I've been quite lucky to get through. So, uh, you know, obviously it's not a TV event. It's not a, a big thing, but you know, we put stuff on to for the fans and that. And obviously, I really want to win it. So, uh, I'm gonna put some practice in now. Last, you know, next couple of days, and hopefully, I can uh, perform better.